Hi folks, Tim here again from High NT Tech. This is kind of an upcoming warning about some stuff we're going to be testing. Kind of fell into a little extra money today uh, from uh, a co-worker who wants me to come in tomorrow and open the place up so I have all the keys to like 45 cars on the car lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, well, let's not go there. Uh, but in truth, we're going to be uh, getting this uh, keyboard Sunday, which looks pretty good to me. It's a rechargeable keyboard, ultra thin and light. And it says it has a six month life on the battery. As long as you're not using the backlight too much. But the reason I'm buying this is totally because of the fact it's backlit. I, there's like seven colors. I don't care. I just want to be able to turn the studio lights pretty much off at night and sit here and type. I looked at some USB keyboards and they were outrageous. So, I'm like, wait a minute, that thing plugs in. This thing is BT, Bluetooth. Yeah, I know it's Bluetooth 3.0. Come on, folks. How much range do you need for a keyboard? My Logitech is God knows what. My K480. But what we're looking at is supports Apple and Android and Windows. And Android and Windows are basically the same. So, <coughs> same with the blue tooth keyboard on the uh, K480. You just don't have a handy switch to, you know, pair it up. At $19.99, with a total cost of $21.09, it'll be here Sunday. We'll be testing it. And you, folks, will get to see why. I really want this thing. It'd be really nice if it wouldn't do that. Uh -huh. God, I hate Amazon sometimes. Okay. Now, as you can see, it has a caps lock. For work, that's a must. The K480 does not. I don't care about the backlighting at work. We're not generally selling cars in the middle of the night. But, it's basically the same layout as the K480. Anything I don't see is how to do a control print screen, but by God, I'll figure that out. So, just be aware of it. It'll be here Sunday morning. Usually they show up around 8, 9 in the morning. And drop stuff off. Amazon Prime rules. And at that point, we'll do a review. We'll compare it head to head with the uh, K480, which is built like a tank. Now, this thing's rechargeable, which is cool. And it'll be fine. 
I won't have to kind of go, huh, it's been about a year since I changed the batteries in the K480. We won't have to do that with this. I'll just, when I get it home, because I'm using the backlighting, I'll probably plug it in. And use the uh, USB power coming off the uh, desktop here. And that should charge it. If not, it requires more or allows more. I'll use that and we'll zing it back up to the full. And uh, other than that, I don't have anything else to report this evening. So, everyone take care. Leave comments in the comment section below. If you are excited or eager about this, make sure you, one, read the description below. And, of course... After that, subscribe. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified. Give us a like and leave some feedback. Thanks a lot, folks. And that's all I have for this evening.